Hello, in this short demonstration I can show you what the BQI can do for you. Uh, BQI is a script that uh, starts the server, runs it and uh, allows you to do some very trivial tasks uh, in developing and debugging an open ERP server. So we will start by running, uh, by establishing a new database from scratch. Um, I run the BQI script. Uh, it's uh, self-sufficient. It's only one file, so that you don't need to install anything on your uh, desktop or workstation. And uh, most of the configuration for the BQI is in one file called uh, Home BQI RC and it's sectioned so that you can have set of settings that you try each time and you choose in the BQI command line to tell it which section to take uh, the settings from. Now we have start just started an OpenERP server. It runs but it has not loaded any database because it doesn't have any. And I will create a database, TB create. Now it's the equivalent of going into the GTK or web client, the, the database menu, and uh, specifying uh, to add a new database with some uh, values uh, defaults. So uh, the name of the database, the admin password, and the demo data uh, boolean flag comes from uh, the settings of the BQI script. You don't need to tell it each time. Also, the BQI script has some predefined uh, log files that it will place all its output to. We can see this log file. And this log file is parallel to what you see in the screen colored. Uh, so the same thing, the same thing that scrolls in my screen uh, is saved in a file so that I can examine it a bit later. Now let's suppose I was working on uh, some module called testORM and I need to install that module to start playing with it. Uh, BQI features com programmable completion so that you can repeat your past commands and uh, do loops of uh, testing, breaking, fixing things uh, and not need to repeat uh, all the typing of the previous commands. Now I've just loaded the testORM module and I will also load another called uh, module import. Uh, this one is uh, useful because it allows me to send data to the server like YAML files or XML files and try the files one, one at a time. Uh, the module is not for BQI, it's, it's actually a wizard, a graphic wizard in the client uh, that I can uh, load custom data. Uh, be careful not to use this module in any production servers, I warn you. So let's say this is my test module and uh, I will go to the source of the module and say that I have some very trivial, stupid model like the RGB. Uh, and this is a table in uh, OpenERP, so I need to see what this thing does. I can, like in the PSQL um, command line client, I can issue a describe command and I can tell it which module to describe. So this is the RGB module. It's the same thing as this, only uh, that it has uh, performed all the inheritance and all the database initialization and that's what the server thinks about this model. The same thing about the RGBA. The RGBA uh, is an inherit of RGB, just for the fun of it, and we can see all these fields here in the table. So what I can do is I can go into the model and I can list the table. Search read. Search read is a server feature I have and it's a little more convenient than tailing it all from scratch. Uh, so there is no result, there is nothing in this table, so I will do a do, create. Uh, do means send the rest of the line like a Python command to the server verbatim. 
let's see if it can create with defaults. Oh yes, it can create with defaults. So it made the uh, white, yes, blue, green, red is white. Uh, so it made a uh, white thing. Let's make a black one. So it creates another record, which is the black. Actually, the first one doesn't even have a name, and I will also create a blue. And I will put 128 as dark blue. So we see we have a table with three, three records. That's only for the record to see what uh, uh, BQI can do for you. At the same time, it's been running a server underneath, so perhaps we need to debug it. You notice that in the same console I see that both the logs of uh, the server and both what I'm doing in the BQI client, which is a clean client. So I do debugging of the object and I do a table and now from the table I can see uh, the queries uh, used to get, fetch me this table. And now an extra thing that the BQI can do is remote mode. Remote mode means that uh, I can uh, connect to a running server. In this uh, example, I will connect to the one that I'm having in this window. So I will say remote s so that it, I get the same se settings. And I will also t tell it rl to use the OpenERP lib client. Oops. So, what I'm doing now is I'm running a remote BQI and I can go to the RGBA or RGB model. So, um, you will notice that. Uh, uh, it's uh, connected to the server to get the list of the ORM uh, uh, models for the command line completion. So I will do the same. Let's say I copy this command. Or I even do do read uh, and I need model 2. So I have the, uh, the result of the read method on my dictionary. Actually, there is a foo uh, function. No, no, RGB doesn't have the foo. I could uh, do, let's say, uh, a field you get. So that's an arbitrary ORM method that I sent uh, to the server got the response and printing this response uh, to my client. Now, actually I can do it from here. Do not load, install. I will call the remote logs module So remote logs are enabled and I will connect again with the remote mode and then I'm also able to see the logs in the remote side. So this is the local side, this is the remote side and I can see the logs. So uh, I am still in test RGB and uh, if I do this thing, oh, oh I have to enable the bug again because uh, the puller has reloaded and it has reset the debug settings. So I do this thing. Oh, by default the BQI doesn't show the debug logs, so I need to show them. So you see that uh, in the same time the logs of the server appear in both sides. 
Thank you very much and uh, visit my blog and uh, visit uh, the JIT uh, um, repositories for any changes on this script.